On travel trends, uh, we're following in the footsteps of uh, ancient civilizations as we explore the longest hiking route in mainland Egypt. You'll find it a short distance from the beach, uh, beachside resort of Hagada. Uh, the Red Sea Mountain Trail gives visitors a chance to delve into one of the most uncharted areas and cultures of the country uh, and what it has to offer. Daybreak over the Red Sea Mountains. Guys, this is one of my favorite mountains. It's called Jebel Gatai. It kind of looks like flames rising up out of a fire. Until recently off the tourism path, these peaks are a familiar sight for British explorer Ben Hoffner, who five years ago set out to create the first long-distance trail in mainland Egypt. The Red Sea Mountains have always been a really key area for Egypt. Many civilizations came here and they made ways through these mountains, from the pharaohs to the Ptolemies to the Romans. What we did with the Red Sea Mountain Trail was identify all of these old routes and put these together in a way that uh, creates a, a hiking route for modern times. The trail is one of two routes Ben has set up in the country. Joining him on this trip are the fellow hikers who back in 2015 worked with him to develop a similar trail in the Sinai Peninsula. Developing trails for tourism is something that is now a trend um, and it's growing very, very fast. But having people that have lived in this land for maybe hundreds of years adds another completely different aspect to this experience. Joining up an ancient network of trade, travel and hunting routes, the 170 kilometer long path crosses the land of the Maza. As one of Egypt's largest tribes, they were instrumental in the development of the trail. The trails, they're 100% owned by the Bedouin community, but in the process of creation, we walked together for thousands of kilometers. If the pyramids are a monument to the Egyptians, uh, a path, a trail, would be the best monument to the Bedouin as a traveling people. Uh, for me, there's no better way to show who the Bedouin are uh, than to walk a path with them. My stuff. This is for uh, allergy of the chest. Everything here really serves a purpose. When fully operational, the trail will take 10 days to complete. And by offering an authentic cultural immersion with the Maza, it will open up one of the least known areas and cultures of Egypt to a new type of adventure tourism. The beauty of it is that when you create a trail, this creates a microeconomy around the benefits the local people of that particular region. The path for me shows where they've come from. It shows who they are, how they've lived. Um, and perhaps this path, it can be part of the story of where they're going in the future too. Well, thank you for watching CNN Newsroom. I'm Max Foster in London, back with a check of the world headlines for you. Enjoy.